I believe the magic is always in the place of uh, fear, in the place of being uncomfortable. Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Koga here. So in this episode of Jeff Koga Live, I want to talk about uh, being an introvert living in an extroverted world. So figure that I talk about this because today, right, yesterday, I was ranting about like uh, the book and stuff like that and the outline. But you know what the issue is, man, is I talked to a good friend Jason. He said, man, you're playing way too small. And it's so true. I am playing way too small. And I think a lot has to do with I have a big fear of just saying my stuff uh, out in the internet land. And it's crazy because uh, if you don't know me personally, you just like hear my voice and stuff like that, and you don't know me personally, then then you might be like, oh yeah, no, nah, Jeff is like, he's an outgoing guy. He's an extroverted guy, man. He seems like he just likes the attention. And the truth is, really, I don't, man. And I really don't. If I can have it my way, I would simply just live on an island probably with myself my wife and uh probably some kids uh, you know later on with some dogs or something like that and that's it you know and some close friends maybe that they'll hang out with me other than that you know like i i want to be off the radar i want i don't want to uh be in uh internet land and uh talk about my stories talk about any of all of this stuff but you know what it is is that I was talking to another friend, uh, his name is Josh, and he runs a podcast called Wellness Force, and I was talking to him about some of the bad habits I have, and uh, uh, truth is, you know, I broke my habit, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have been following this, and uh, I've been talking about a really really bad habit I've been trying to break, and I was good for about 60 days, ladies and gentlemen, and I broke a habit of that, and I was talking to him, and uh, we started to get in a conversation of vulnerability. All right, and I was like, yeah, you know, like I just don't want the, the people out in the world to hear about all this. But you know, it's dawn on me, like if I'm having issues like this, right? Especially in this digital space, as uh, you know, everyone's like, hey, you know what? To make it in business and to uh, make it in anything, you know, you got to put yourself out in the internet land, right? Uh, at a wedding, right? That I was at, I was talking to a guy that was trying to like find a work, find a job, and. Uh, to get a job at a office space, so be like an office where it's like for a production, like like they're like an importing production company, and they asked them to do like a video interview, I guess, right? And he was just like asking for my advice on that, and I was like, what? And then like clearly, you know, I don't know too much about the workforce and how people do it and stuff like that, but I thought that was the most interesting thing I heard. I was just like, wow, you know, and I was just like, well, just. You know, I'll try to give my advice, probably, which is a bad advice, which I was just like, just talk from your heart, you know, like, I'm like, talk from your heart. It was probably, thinking back now, it was probably it was really, really bad advice. <laughs> um, uh, so I don't know what happened since then, but it's it's just interesting because, because, uh, you know, you know employers are looking at people's social media profiles. You know, you know, because I do that if I'm hiring someone, right? I Google their name to see what they're doing, right? Are they little party animals and stuff like that? And are they posting stuff that doesn't jive what the company has to do or company has to offer? Or are they doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing, you know? Uh, things like that, you know? And then try to match up with, you know, things that they're posting versus the stuff that's on their uh, resume and things like that, right? To see why is there, you know, a gap in their resume and they're telling one thing and then to see that it was something else right so things like that you know and in this noisy noisy world that we live in and it's gonna get even noisier um, for all my introverted uh, friends out there my introverted uh, listeners out there that's uh, been on the fence and uh, have been always wondering to say hey you know what should I do this social media stuff? Should I do this uh, video marketing stuff? Should I do X, Y, and Z, right? It's to, I challenge you to uh, go out there and just do it. And I'm saying that not just to you to be like, hey, look at Jeff, he's doing it. No, 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 I have the same issue as you. And uh, again, as I said earlier, as I started this uh, podcast episode, um, I said that my number one issue was uh, thinking too small of uh, a show that I've been saying that I'm going to be interviewing people. And I haven't. I literally have a hit list of people I want to talk to, I want to build relationships with and to interview because they're so interesting people, but I haven't reached out to them and says, hey, come on the Jeff Kogel live show uh, so we can do a show, right? And now why is that? When everything else out, when I do this kind of stuff, usually I just do it is because 
I'm really deathly afraid to do it, I guess, you know? And uh, um, so I challenge each and every one of you guys and gals to go out there and challenge yourself to be uncomfortable and find that uncomfortable happiness of uh, out there because I believe the magic is always in the place of uh, fear and the place of being uncomfortable. And uh, that's, that's really, that's where it really it's at. And so my manifesto to the world on this episode is I will get these people on I will get these people that I've looked up to I will get these people that has helped me get to where I want to be as well as people that are doing amazing things in this world and get them on the actual show so that way we can share their experiences share their inspiration share their heartaches their challenges that they ran into life and share with the world you know so I'm just letting you guys know it's coming just be ready for it and when you do see it just know that hey you know what i like the attention and or i'm doing this for some boy scout badges of uh, throwing myself out there to record myself working to you know stream live videos every day no 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 i don't honestly i don't i don't want any of that stuff i just happen to just do it because i know how important it is in business and uh, also at the same time know that that's going to help me be a better communicator overall. So um, that's what I got for y'all. It's a little bit shorter than usual, but I figure that uh, we end it here. So um, again, just know it's coming. Keep on going after your dreams. That's what I got. Jeff Koch, I'm signing out. Take care. Love y'all, whoever that's uh, listening and watching. And if you are listening and watching, don't just listen. Reach out to me. Reach out to me in this internet land and uh, hit me up on social media. Hit me up uh, any way that you can. And uh, let's get into a real conversation uh, off the YouTube land, off the podcast land, off the live stream land. That's what I got. Love y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.